Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sira kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule. It has also been shown that youngsters who are born into a household with a cat or dog friend have stronger immune systems, which can reduce their risk of asthma, pneumonia, and bronchiolitis. Even a brief session of petting a dog can improve one's resistance to toxins and infections. Please continue watching to find out more. Hey means hi in Faroese. Inquisitive viewers, my name is Angela and I am a vegan Faroe sheep from the welcoming Faroe Islands. The animals and people of my land wish for God's love and blessings to shine on you and all beings in our world. Welcome to our show entitled Be Kind to Animals Week, Constant Care from Furry Angels, Part 2 of 2. Be Kind to Animals Week has been observed in the first full week of May every year since 1973. Although it started in the US, this is a celebration of compassion that all of humanity can participate in. On today's show, we will share insights from Supreme Master Ching Hai concerning the many ways in which animals benefit our world. During an interview with the Irish Dog Journal in 2009, Master provided an overview of why animals are on Earth. The animals come to this planet with a special role. Many of them are able to bring down divine power from heaven or love, yes, just through their presence, because they are very connected with the divine at all times. Some, like horses and rabbits, can protect their human caregivers from negative influences or boost them with good health, good luck, even material fortune, joy or spiritual upliftment. They watch out for us quietly and humbly send blessings our way. Some of them are from higher levels of consciousness. They only came down in animal form to help humankind or other beings on earth. Uh, of course, animals also have very noble, vital roles in the physical realm. Uh, in the oceans, fish play an important role in quickly recycling nutrients in the ecosystem, which helps to sustain all the marine life. Some animals like zebras, monkeys, and wild parrots help to disperse the seeds, while bees and other insects help to pollinate crops and other plants, and uh, others maintain the health of the forests and oceans. Animals directly help humans as well. We notice that dogs are extremely altruistic and courageous. They are the heroic rescuers who dive into rubble to free the victims, keep an injured person warm and alive in the snow until help arrives, or patiently serve the blind. They also provide comfort to prison inmates even, as well as happiness and therapeutic effects for the elderly and hospital patients. This is all well-known fact.
some who can communicate inside with animals have received messages about how these loving beings influence the lives of people. In 2018, Supreme Master Television spoke with Joy Fromental, a French professional telepathic animal communicator. She had this to say. Nos animaux de compagnie, comme on dit, ils sont vraiment là pour nous aider. Alors nous aussi, on a un rôle dans leur vie. Mais eux ont aussi un grand rôle dans, dans la nôtre. Chacun, ils ont chacun des missions différentes. Donc ça peut être vraiment des guides spirituels où ils vont nous accompagner sur un chemin. Besides serving as spiritual guides to humans, animals come to this planet on special missions, as explained by Supreme Master Ching Hai. The seals have conveyed that it is important for them to be allowed to stay on Earth, not for themselves, but so they can continue doing their job, which is to keep the Earth in balance with love. You see, the seals and the whales emanate an incredible great power of divine love, an unconditional love that could be likened like to that between a mother and her child. They anchor and distribute this wave of love across our planet. Because of humankind's lack of love and kindness, animals like seals and whales have been born to help fill in this missing void. And it is this love that is sustaining our planet and keeping it from destruction up to now. Isn't that incredible? Many animals are quietly supplying our world with the love it needs to survive. In turn, whoever respects and cares for these beings will receive untold blessings. Supreme Master Ching Hai revealed this secret during a 2008 conference. Loài vật đến đây cũng phụng mệnh Thượng Đế mà, ừ. để nhắc nhở con người tinh thần thương yêu vô điều kiện, vô vị lợi, và để bảo vệ chăm sóc cho con người về nhiều phương diện, à, cũng như tinh thần, vật chất và tâm linh. Cho nên ai thương yêu mà nuôi dưỡng loài vật á, một cách tử tế thì đều được đền bù xứng đáng à, bằng nhiều cách. Nếu không đời này thì cũng đời sau. Thường thường thì đời này ta cảm thấy liền, thí dụ như là sức khỏe dồi dào, à, có bệnh thì mau chóng bình phục, ừ, tinh thần sảng khoái vui vẻ, có lòng thương yêu à, những người khác hơn là không cái lúc mà không có loài vật. Có khi lại giàu có hơn thêm. Ừ, có biết bao nhiêu chuyện à, à, xảy ra đã chứng minh chuyện này á. Let us pause briefly for a constructive message and then we'll return. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. to our program, Be Kind to Animals Week, Constant Care from Furry Angels, Part 2 of 2. In the following comment about the blessings that animals bring, Supreme Master Ching Hai alludes to the Law of Attraction, Rang 
，精神又更快乐。如果我们精神快乐的话，我们会去吸引幸运啊，我们会吸引那些快乐的气氛到我们家来，同心相系嘛。A variety of scientific studies have shown how important animal companions are. They bring happiness and love to people's lives, along with many other benefits. For example, walking a dog or playing with a cat can reduce blood pressure, cholesterol levels, triglyceride levels, and improve heart health. Seniors and children without siblings are often able to overcome loneliness and depression by having a furry companion. Additionally, the commitment to care for an animal contributes to a person's overall sense of well-being. It has also been shown that youngsters who are born into a household with a cat or dog friend have stronger immune systems, which can reduce their risk of asthma, pneumonia, and bronchiolitis. Even a brief session of petting a dog can improve one's resistance to toxins and infections. The presence of a four-legged friend may benefit digestive health as well. Thereby improving mood and mental clarity, all of these findings support the common experience of feeling healthier and happier when you spend quality time with animals. Beyond physical and emotional support, people can get a boost in their spiritual practice by virtue of a one-pointed focus on their animal body. Supreme Master Ching Hai explained this phenomenon during a lecture in 2019. Even if you have pets, dogs, yeah, and you love them so much, and you pay a lot of attention to them undividedly, then you will also feel well. That's why many people, when they have pets, they have less disease, less depression,、uh, less many things. Yes. Also, the pets that you love emit secretly some kind of wellness wavelength, some kind of blessing, some kind of happiness from themselves. Yeah. So sometimes you see your dog; he's not doing anything. He just lay there asleep, but you feel so much love from him or her, and then you in turn also want to love him or her, and love also heals you. Because at that time you only see your dog. You don't see anything else. You don't know anything else. You don't remember anything else, and that is also a bhakti yoga, because when you have undiluted, undivided attention to something or some subject or to God or to the saints, to dog, then you are truly separated from the world, oblivious to all its problems. Thus, you feel free, yeah, and you feel peaceful, and that's how bhakti yoga works. Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken about the special capacity that animals have for awakening love within humans. When we are in love with animals, our love will naturally spread out. It can be from dogs, from cats, from animals. It will be known to this situation. When you are in love with them, you look at them and you want to love them. 没有别的想法，没有别的办法，然后在那边爱护它、宠物它，这样子，自然呢、啊，那个气氛呢、啊，在家里面呢、啊，那个爱的气氛呢、啊，就会包容整个我们的房子、整个家庭的，然后也播出来给世界的。每一家如果有那种爱的气氛的话，世界一定会和平的。因为气氛很重要嘛，所以动物啊，它帮我们播放着我们那个心里面那个爱心出来，所以整个气氛呢、啊、不一样，就变成快乐
，所以这个快乐的气氛呢，也是会影响整个世界的。能不能想象每一家庭都是这样那么快乐，那么有那种爱心的气氛？当然，世界会很好啊。Yes, the world will become a paradise when the power of love replaces the love of power. May each of us become the change we want to see, selfless and unconditional in our compassion towards each other. Affectionate viewers, it's been wonderful having you with us today for our program. Up next is Vegan World Will Be, part four of four on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May rays of golden light warm your body and soothe your soul. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com/schedule and suprememastertv.com/aw.